In this film, we're going to tell you what to expect when you have a bone marrow test. A bone marrow test, also called a bone marrow biopsy, involves taking a small sample of the bone marrow from the inside of your bones for testing in a laboratory. Bone marrow is the spongy middle part found in some of the larger bones, such as the thigh bone, breast bone, pelvis and spinal bones. Bone marrow contains stem cells which develop into working blood cells that are released into the bloodstream. Bone marrow tests are done for a variety of reasons. These include finding out the reason for abnormal blood cell counts, which could be higher or lower than normal. The hospital's haematology department will contact you with details of your appointment and will send you any necessary written information. You'll need to sign a consent form before your procedure. A nurse or doctor will go through this with you and you can ask as many questions as you like. If you're taking blood thinning medications such as warfarin, dabigatran, rivaroxaban, tinzaparin, clopidogrel or aspirin, you may be asked to stop this for a period before your procedure. Please check with the team who are going to perform your bone marrow test. You may need a blood test to check how well your blood clots. You must tell your doctor or nurse if you've previously had an allergic reaction to any local anaesthetics. You can eat and drink normally before your procedure. The test normally takes 20 to 40 minutes. It's carried out by a doctor or specialist nurse who will talk you through the procedure as it happens. The bone marrow is usually taken from the back of your hip bone. You'll be asked to lie on your side with your knees tucked into your chest. The area will be cleaned and local anaesthetic injected into the part of your hip where an extraction syringe will be inserted. The local anaesthetic can sting or hurt for a few seconds initially. You may have more than one injection to ensure the area is sufficiently numbed. An extraction syringe is then inserted through the numbed area into the bone marrow and a sample of bone marrow cells is sucked out. There can be a pulling feeling in your back and sometimes a shooting pain down your leg but this passes almost immediately. Your nurse or doctor will check the samples. They may need to insert the syringe more than once to obtain a good sample. It may also be necessary to perform a trephine biopsy. This is used for important medical tests which aren't possible with the standard bone marrow samples. It's performed in the same way, but it removes a tiny core of marrow in one piece. This may cause a pushing sensation or a feeling of pressure building up, but this passes quickly. After the test, the nurse or doctor will apply a dressing to your hip at the site where the test was carried out. A bone marrow test can be uncomfortable, even though the local anaesthetic will minimise the discomfort that you feel. All people are different and experiences during bone marrow tests can vary. You can ask for whatever you think will make you more comfortable. For example, music to help you relax, calming aromas or soft toys, or simply to hold hands with a friend or relative. Some hospitals may offer Entonox, that's gas and air, as additional pain relief during the tests. Your nurse or doctor will be with you at all times so you can talk to them about how you're feeling. A small proportion of people will have their bone marrow test performed under full sedation so will be unconscious throughout the procedure. The local anaesthetic will wear off after about an hour and you may begin to feel some discomfort at the test site. This should go completely within a few days. Mild over-the-counter pain relief, such as paracetamol, is usually sufficient to address this, and your doctor will advise you if there are any forms of pain relief that you should not take. If you've been given gas and air during your test, you'll need to stay in the hospital unit for a few hours to recover. And you'll need to arrange for someone to travel home with you. If you've not been given gas and air, you can travel home in your usual way. You must leave the dressing in place for 24 hours and avoid getting it wet to allow a small scab to form. After 24 hours, you can remove the dressing yourself. A bone marrow test is very safe and most people don't experience any problems afterwards. Very rarely, a person will experience bleeding from the site where the test was carried out. 
even more rarely, an infection can develop. If the area bleeds when you're at home, apply pressure to the site until it stops. You must tell your medical team straight away if the bleeding continues, if the site becomes more painful, red or swollen, or you get a high temperature after you go home. You may need antibiotic treatment. Your test results will be discussed when you next attend the clinic. If there's any reason why your medical team needs to see you sooner, they will contact you and arrange an earlier appointment. If you have any questions or concerns about any aspect of your bone marrow test, you should contact your hospital.